Big shit, big shit, big shit. Huh. It's a unique hustle, nigga. Big shit, big shit, big shit, big shit. Huh. Name another podcast like this. Who gon' bring it to the table? Boss talk. Who your girlfriend favorite? Boss talk. We gon' do it how you want it. Boss talk. Yeah, everybody on it. Boss talk. It's a unique hustle. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECEO, and I'm here with the lovely official. Miss Jamaica, what's going on? Nothing, nothing. What's going on with you? Man, you know, it's been a, a, a just a little bit since we did an interview, but we got a guy here now. He don't need no introduction. This guy's, uh, you know, he's been around the scene for a while, man. I, I mean, you know, he counsels me now. You know, this is one who <laughs> pretty much tells me, you know, hey, man, it's going to be okay, man. Hey, man, don't react to that, man. And he's returning to our platform, He right? is the, uh, yeah, and he's, he's the returning. first, is this the first no. time we've had a repeat? Who do no. we have a repeat? We had um, Push a Man. Push your man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. From Top Off. Shout out mm-hmm. to Top Off. But we got the real deal Holyfield in here today, y'all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big D from Mogul Media is in the building. Yo, what up, what up? You know, you know, I'm going to just let you know I pulled up for one reason. And one reason only. <laughs> he getting right into it, ain't he? You know, he so getting I, right I, into it. I, I had it. to come on the show because I got smoke. You know what I'm saying? Oh. You know, I seen Cloud Records. You know what I'm saying? They get an award. You know what I'm saying? Sean Cotton, you know, say cheese, get an award. Charleston White, get an award. Big D come and Big D leave and don't get an award. I'm trying to figure out how the mogul don't get an award. Well, you know, it, it's not that hard to understand the algorithm. Oh, what we do, man, you know, it's really, it's really something that we started for the community, man. And a guy like you, man, uh, not saying you're not deserving of an award. I mean, we're just getting started. I mean, and at the end of the day, man, as we move forward, we are looking at people like you. You know what I'm saying? A real uh, contender, yeah. top contender, you know? I mean, I hear you. So pretty much you just telling me, no, I'm not no, getting no, the award. That's no, a, that's I'm a, not. You know, it's, it's no, cool. No, no, so no, no. I'm saying a top contender. I mean, we're not even through with the year yet. We just been in this thing for going on five months. And I mean, we gave out a few awards, but we are way, way, uh, 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 we're not done, right? Wait, I don't think we're done. So, so we got, we got, we got a, you a very good influencer, you know, in the uh, 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 media field, right? Blogging. I'm a gatekeeper in, whisperer. Let's put it in this way. Uh-oh. We have not awarded anyone in your category as yet. So what you're saying is Big D is not on the same level right now as Charleston White and Sean Cotton. Is it what y'all saying? No, we're not saying that. Sean but Cotton, we haven't, Sean received Cotton has not received yet. an award. But he got his award pending. I don't even have one <laughs> pending. Yeah, yeah, I gave him one pending. I did tell him that it was a good it was a good chance. He's going, man, hard. And I get it. You know what I mean? He uh you even acknowledged him as being one of the hardest working men in this For industry. Sure. So I, I mean, you know, it's not we're not beyond giving out a few because at the end of the day we're giving out roses while you're here. So I could see I could definitely see Mogul Media getting an award. So- Instead of giving me an award, I want an award named after me. You know how, like, the NFL got the Walter Payton Humanitarian Award? How about I figure out a way to contribute to Boss Talk, and we do something like a Boss Talk mogul media, and we we highlight somebody that's doing well within the community and just show them love. I got it. Yeah, let's, yeah, let's, I, let's get rock to that. out. Definitely. And I'll, I'll, I'll put up funds and get it done. Hey, man, let's, let's make it happen so, together. So basically... Anyone that's doing things in the community, he's yeah. saying mm-hmm. that that we could do something. To, I love that, man. I love that hey. idea, man. That's why I, that's why I call you for counseling. Hey, man. Yeah. You know, <laughs> they don't call me Uncle Phil the Mogul for no Say, reason. Hey, man, you're doing your thing, man. You you've <laughs> definitely dropped some jewels on us in this platform, man. Ever since we started, you know, God put you in our life, man. Hey, man you help that. us, man. You help every time I call you. You're always there, even if you're at an airport, where if you're out of town, you're gonna pick up the phone for E, and we're gonna spend hours talking about different things. So I appreciate that. I mean, you know, I appreciate you just recognizing I be going places, doing things. No, no, you know, no, you're a hustler. Airport, you know? I already know you're a hustler. Yeah, you know, man. I see it in you. And at the end of the day, I know already uh, you're not even a, a, a native of Dallas, so no. I know you you will pick up and go. You was talking about moving to Houston too, wasn't you? Yeah, I, I think I may have hit a roadblock in that. So we we'll see. I'm so happy. Yeah, man. <laughs> you don't want to. You don't <laughs> want to. No, I don't want him to leave. This is a guy right here. When I when I really want to do something, I know he's gonna have my back, and he he gonna ha- he hadn't let me down yet. 
So I, I know it, and everybody I talked to them about it been straight up and down true about what they said. So you don't find that every day, and I know that. So I appreciate you. That's okay. for real. So we're going to call it the Big D Real Award. No, no, no. We're not going to do uh-uh. that. Okay. Uh-uh. We're we'll figure something out. We don't have to figure it out together. I'll yeah, take yeah, y'all yeah. a couple of uh, suggestions. <laughs> <laughs> I, like the, I, like the, I like the idea of right. doing something for the, somebody in the community. Yeah, I'm down mm-hmm. with that. I like that, man. I that's, like that. That's dope. You know what I'm saying? So I've had a few people on here since she was here, since she was here last. I mean, uh, from Sean Cotton yep. to uh, even Trill Talk No Pill Talk's yep. been back. And uh, uh, there's been... Uh, you have my son t- on here? Yeah, and I acknowledged that while he was here, and he said <laughs> that you was his old uh, crazy uncle. That's what we told... We That's what he was growing up. T- we told him that growing up. You know, we didn't want to cause no problem. <laughs> Oh man, so so, how do you think we're doing so far? I, hey, I, I love to hear that. Uh, you know what? I really want to give y'all y'all flowers because y'all y'all got in here full steam. Y'all got so many interviews that I I have yet to get. Really? You know what I'm saying? And people are taking to the platform to put how professional it is. You know what I'm saying? All these cameras, man. I wish everybody <laughs> could see the cameras. Like I feel official official when I come here, man. Thank you, man. And, and I. Kudos to y'all what y'all doing because the way that y'all bring people in, the way that y'all platform is, the way that you formulate and have conversation, it feels like home. Man. You know what I'm saying? It feels like, you know what, I can open up. Yeah. I don't know if it's how hospitable you guys are or yeah. how drunk y'all get us. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it's something. No, I just. Well, everybody who says that, not everybody actually drinks. So okay. and everybody does say that. So. Yeah, yeah. I won't blame. We're not gonna blame it on the alcohol. Blame it on the <laughs> 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 hey, There we go. <laughs> <laughs> no, you you definitely doing a great job yourself, man. I know you had, but I think you had Kenny B on. You've had Kenny a B. lot. You've had a lot more people on as well, man. Yeah. And so, how's that coming as far as over there with uh, Mogul Media? Hey, you know what? It's good. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, I'm thankful for everybody tuning in. Like, I just hit over um, 3 million views. Whoa. You know what I'm saying? Total. So, that's that's dope. Um, but, you know, I'm constantly always kind of assessing myself. Like, where do I want to go? I know lately I've been doing a lot of hip-hop artists, which yeah. is cool. Yeah. And they tend to be kind of easier to get. But mm-hmm. it's like I want to broaden it where mm. everyone can come and get something, find an interview that they like instead of <clears throat> just a rapper after rapper after rapper. So I'm trying to figure out that that balance, that transition. But, you know, people who aren't rappers or entertainers, they kind of sometimes be camera shy. So it's kind of yeah. hard to get them to come out. Yeah. So I'm working on that, man. But that's really expanding the brand, traveling, and just expanding my horizons to people that I talk to. Exactly. Yeah. I do 100% agree with you because it's, <laughs> sa- it's the same thing here yeah. where um, – Entertainment business is easier to get because they want that publicity, they Absolutely. want that exposure. So it's, it's like an, it's an exchange for both of us. But when we want to get that mental illness person or yeah. that doctor or that, you know, it's it, it's it's harder. I don't I, I I don't think I think from a different perspective. I guess I think God gives you who you get, yeah, and I, I feel like uh, when you get that person, everybody has a backstory, and I think a lot of times we need to get more in tune to that backstory. Mm-hmm. You, you know, know what I mean? And when, when I watch you guys, you know what? I learned that the part that I'm missing is I need to get my wife involved. Hey. <laughs> I need to, like, dope. you know, you need to get, a, you know, help me. Because I do everything myself, and I try to let her have her peace. Yeah. You know what I mean? But I, I feel like I need to, because getting guests, hunting down, like like you said, the mm-hmm. mental health expert or the politician. Could, yeah. That takes work. Like you, you really adamant That's at either right. trying to get that person or the person next to that person following up. You got to be willing to do that. That's right. Sometimes my ego don't allow yeah. me to keep doing that. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I get it. You know, so it's like you know what I need to bring. Not necessarily a softer side, but a softer approach. And I think right. yeah. maybe bringing my wife in. That's dope. You know, it's hard for men to really tell women. Have you spoken no. to her about it? About it. Yeah. No, I haven't. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, I hint. Like, I think the kids yeah, just come straight and you know, tell her. The kids gonna grow into it. Yeah, it, it, it's very. I mean, they ain't gonna like it, but at the end of the day, gonna respect it later on in life. Right. So Respect. it's just it's, it's a dope concept to bring everybody in, and it gives you that unity. Even though it's gonna be some tough times, it's tough times. Sometimes they do. don't like doing it. Yeah. you know, they don't want to do it. They want to do their own thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But hey, man, the thing you can say is, like I said, getting back to those people that you do get. 
try to make sure that you touch places where they hadn't been touched. Absolutely. And that's what I like about Mr. Lee's interview last night. Oh, we, man, go that, we go different, man. Man, how did that go? Did, Dope, man. Did my name come up? Did y'all shout uh, me out? I don't think so. <laughs> 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 but it, uh, maybe did. I'm, I'm pretty sure. It, I, I'm you know, pretty, I be trying to get him out on my cloud. I'm pretty sure I did. I'm, I'm pretty sure. I don't remember because we talked for so long, but I'm pretty yeah, sure I did. I'm glad you got that, in that interview, do. man. That's dope. That's if, dope if right there. If somebody linked me, I'm so true to what I'm doing. It's I'm just be, natural, bro. Don't feel bad. I, I be cloud chasing. No, no, no. You, you know, I like man. when my name, you, you want me to post something fast, mention my name. I'm, you gonna post I'm that trying to thing. get that. I got to make sure that I can take it back, though. There's a lot of times I've spoken on your name. Hey, probably. man, hey, you, you hold me down. Yeah. You know, Even though Sean kicked my ass in front of the bus. Oh, <laughs> that was a good one. I even brought you into that video. Yeah. That was my first time doing that. I see you're getting your Vlad on. Yeah, I was trying to, I was like, I want to I wanna, I wanna show that he says something and it made valid points. For sure. So that was that was how, what I was looking at, right? Mm -hmm. so, no, for sure. Yeah, you did. Yeah, it was a valid point. Let's get to that gatekeeper uh, list, man, because uh, Terry told me that he played part in that and that he gave his opinion on that. No, he did. Absolutely. And, um Shout out to Terry. Like I said, when I first got into this, um, the interviewing phase of things, two people who really, really stepped up and helped me out was Sean and Terry. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Nope. Nope, and, nope. And, and I appreciate it because, mind you, when Terry started helping me, I, I, I want to say I started doing it this, like, December, maybe January of 2020. Terry jumped out. I met him in December 2019. Mm -hmm. So for only knowing me for a month, mm -hmm. just jumping in and, you know what I'm saying, doing whatever they can to help. And also Rainwater. I got to get that to him too. Whoa. You know what I'm saying? Because, again, when I interviewed Rainwater, I really was only like two months in the game. into doing this. You know what I'm saying? But these guys who already had names for themselves, already had platforms for themselves, things going, man, these guys jumped out and gave me a chance. So definitely shout out to Terry, but he definitely gave an input on the list, you know what I'm saying? And you paid it forward to us. Yeah, for sure. So that's that's dope. You know what I'm saying? And they say black people can't work together. Man, we work together all the time. Man, stop playing, man. All the time. That's why you got all these rappers out here and entrepreneurs out here right now is because of us working together. So yeah. I, I look at the narrative a little bit different. But you yeah. know, they said a good suffer for the, suffers for the bad because you have a lot of people out there who don't Well, I, I really feel like we actually support Black people support each other more than we think. I think we get too caught up on focus on the ones who don't support. And as you just got to understand that not everybody meant to work together. Mm -hmm. Personalities yeah. make class. Sometimes it's best that one person doing one thing over here and one person doing one thing over here. It's never always meant for them to come together. Sometimes it just means for them to keep doing a thing that's working for the betterment of everybody. So I feel like as a whole, most black people I know support black businesses. Yeah. Most black people I know, if it's another black person with an opportunity, they support. Yeah. I just think we get so fixated on the ones who not supporting it and we ignore the ones who really are. And so 100%. it can kind of seem glass half empty all the time instead of I 100% agree with that. Um, okay, let me get on. Because, you know, I like to get all the way into it, man. Go so ahead. the gatekeeper list, yeah. man, uh, just, to, just to touch on that a little bit, um, is there another one coming? No, so you know what? I decided I'm only going to do that like once a year. Oh, once a year. Once a year. Okay, that's yeah. dope. I like it. You know what I'm so saying? Give enough, give people enough time to work. Work. Yeah. yeah. So, Absolutely. So Sean said that he he didn't feel like he should have been above uh, Jay Prince. You know, that's what he's supposed to say. I'm just telling you what he, he said. No, I'm just saying he he's supposed to say that. Yeah, he said he I'm, don't I, think that he didn't really want that that done that way, and he felt like you mm -hmm. you, you put him in a place where he's like, man, that's kind of disrespectful. I, I I said what? I said not nah, my boy. He didn't mean it that way. Trying to kick my ass right in front of that Jay Prince <laughs> bus. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, tell Jay Prince I ain't want no smoke. But again, Sean, w the way he responded, the way he's supposed to do it, is the way that you're supposed to do it. Because we're in a culture right now where everybody self glorify themselves. Okay. I'm number one. I'm the best. No, you don't determine. You're supposed to feel like you're the best. Sure, that's cool. But your peers, your consumers, your customers, they the ones who determine you're number one. So the stance that Sean took when he came to Jay Prince, it looks better from him from the optics anyway. Because if he would have said, yeah, I am better than Jay Prince, you imagine the heat that would have came yeah. on him if yeah. he said that. Yeah. Even if he felt he may be. Yeah. Um, but Sean is a humble guy. Yeah. And and these things that I these lists aren't real. They're subjective, and it's just barbershop talk. 
Yeah. This is just no different than Stephen A. Smith, but in the blogging world. You know what I'm saying? Jay Prince is a GOAT. He's a legend. He's a pioneer. Sean is a GOAT. He's a legend. He's a pioneer. But Say Cheese didn't operate at the time of, of rap a lot. So we doing hypotheticals. That's all it is. It's barbershop top it talk. It's not to take away from Jay Prince or to give everything to Sean. But the 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 way that Sean responded by hum, humbling himself and himself and giving Jay Prince the credit, that's a testament to his character, and he answered that the right way. Okay, Terry Terry was saying the same thing that he tried to talk you out of putting Jay Prince. I mean, yeah, uh, Sean Cotton over mm, Jay he, Prince. He he did. Um, but I thought for because the list is purely entertainment. It's, again, this is just subjective in this barbershop talk. Mm -hmm. But we can definitely, there is an argument to say that what Jay Prince was able to do in his era, pioneer and pave a way out of no way, Sean has done the exact same thing in this digital era. I, I explained that was where you was coming from. Right? Yeah. You heard me when I explained. Yeah, I explained. It. I hear you. Well, I even made you explain it again. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> you know, I called Sean. I called him like, damn, you just... You gonna get me jumped? Yeah, yeah. What did, <laughs> nah. he what did he say? He was like, "Oh no, do you know what I mean?" You that's know? how you got yeah. it down. Man. You <laughs> that, do a good impersonation. That, that's that's what got no. Nah, yeah. But I understand where he came from because at the end of the day, I'm a small fish. Yeah, he a shark in the pond with another shark or even a whale, and it's dangerous when two whales or two sharks clash. Yeah, and that ego can get the best of it. So Sean took the best route that he, he took the, the man route. He yeah. knew this all is hypothetical. He's the creator, yeah. the, 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 the pioneer of the list game. He yeah. know not to fall into that trap. Okay, well, falling back to uh, Terry Blue, and <clears throat> when I seen him uh, uh, online, I seen Toon TV take his, uh, you know, basically, say he taking taken his L LLC yeah. for uh, uh, Dallas Global, and he basically was going to um, basically own his company. What Did you see that? I saw it. Um, and he's a friend of yours or, or a companion. Uh, how did you, what did, they, what did you think? Nothing. I mean, it's just like wrestling. Okay. You know what I'm saying? You need good male soap opera theatrics. It's entertaining. It's WWE in the blogging world. I don't take any of this seriously you know what I'm saying what Toon and Terry got going on they both men who got successful businesses with Dallas Global and Real Toon they both doing their thing in their own fields I hope that they're not willing to lose everything over this so over I, a moment yeah. yeah over a moment it's like bro y'all both doing y'all thing so it's really for me I don't take it serious mm. I think it's entertainment I think it's a it's a good time Tune is a genius. He understands that people love to show up to see a car wreck. Yeah. So he creates a car wreck every time for people to show up and gas and, you know what I'm saying, and sit here in awe of how disrespectful people can be to each other. Mm. And like I told Tune, he, he got offended by it a little bit, but I was coming from a pure heart. I was like, bro, you kind of like the male version of Wendy Williams. <laughs> That's crazy, right? But out of wow. Wendy Williams, like when me and him had that discussion, um, Charlamagne the guy came out of Wendy Williams. Wendy Williams are, is one of the most pivotal uh, influence and personalities in media. You either love her or you hate her. And those are the people that are most successful in media. It's the people that you either, that's polarizing. You absolutely love them or you absolutely hate them. Whether it's Wendy Williams, Charlamagne, Donald Trump, Charleston White, Kwame Brown, these people, you either absolutely love them or you hate them. Toon TV and um, and uh, Dallas Global, man, those two guys are working their butt off um, to create, you know, something to where people can look on platforms and understand, you know, where everything is in the city from their perspective. Mm -hmm. And, um, well, you know, Rainwater was on there and he mm -hmm. uh, on, on, on a live with uh, Toon TV and he uh, made a statement about, you know, the country um, scene for as East Texas and 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 kind of he don't pay attention to those country mm. rappers, um, and then you seen Trill Talk No Pill Talk step up and he said, "Hey man, you know you know what he said. Yeah. You seen the you seen the the comeback. Yeah. Um, what did you think about that? Wrestling again? Wrestling again? Wrestling again? I mean, he's just these theatrics. You need the drama. This is male bravado at its all time high to be entertainment to shed light." on whatever you trying to promote. Like, shout out to uh, Chill Talk No Pill Talk, putting on for East Texas. Man, shout out. Mention Rainwater name, whether you hate them or you love them, 
Rainwater name captures ears. Yeah. So Trill Talk found a moment to take on a, a wrestling moment, a new wrestler in the arena, and you got a, a top wrestler that's been here, you calling them out. I mean, the theatrics, it, it helped Trill Talk. It put the spotlight on East Texas. I think for the most part what Rainwater said is, it's true. In, in some ways, like a lot of people don't pay attention to the country, whether you want to look at that as good or bad, but it's kind of secluded. It's kind of reclusive. Unless you got family there, you tend to not go there or pay attention there unless you're an artist who break. And usually those are the first places that bring you in. Yeah, like Bone, he he was here the other night and he broke and he broke the mold when, yeah. he, when he did that song, you know, uh, uh, Home Girl, you know. And, and, and it's been some more, you know. I mean, you got to shout out to Sergeant J for breaking the mold when it came down to a bus it and get yep. that, you know. So you got some monsters down there. For that, sure. You know, East Texas got some heat, CCOP, you know, with the guy he was actually asking him about mm -hmm. doing numbers, you know, doing numbers, better numbers than they doing up here. No, you know right. what I'm saying? And and you can't deny them. So at the end of the day, I think it's uh, something that, uh, you know, you you can you can lock the door all you want to, but the door gonna get kicked in when it come down to the music, uh, in certain situations. But I, I give you an analogy, right? <clears throat> you got a high school like Skyline or Allen that got three thousand, four thousand students, and then you got your high school in the country that had how many people? No, some school? of them, some of them, some of them come with it. We we whooped up on. on no, you you probably you got, will. You got your five and six A schools down there just as well, but you do have some smaller ones as right. well. Right. So when you talk about the smaller school, you will get a couple of athletes that come out of there that's mm -hmm. D one that everything pro. that goes pro for I sure. I know them personally. You know what I'm saying? But if you look at who puts out the most, it's gonna be where the most volume. Where the most volume is, mm -hmm. and that's that's kind of what happened. Is like. A lot of times people overlook the country, not to say that the country can't put out an artist like the artist uh, Bone, Chill Talk. Or, yeah, or, yeah or, you know, or, or, or Pete. Exactly, you know what I'm saying, that's doing those numbers. But most people will expect for majority of the talent to come out of the city. It's just yeah. more chances because there's more people. But then you have a freak of nature like uh, uh, Pat Mahomes that comes from out of the same area and, and, and kill a whole nation Th that's when true. it comes to football. So, you know, you just never know. You never know. That's and, true. And, and that's, you, you know, but the thing you can't be is disrespectful because at the end of the day, when you shout out to Lil Ronnie and people like that who mm -hmm. knows if you don't go through that East Texas demographic and, and come back this way because even Mo3, my partner Rory was here. Mo3 was down at the club before he passed away. Gotcha. So, you know, they would go. They I remember them frequent in those areas just to get their music out there from the very beginning. So when you see these type of things and hear those type of statements, you know that you got to take them with a grain of salt. No, that, that's just <clears> real. <throat> um, again, I don't really take stuff that's said online that personal. Yeah. I, and maybe because we've been doing this, you know, this blogging yeah, interview yeah, yeah. You thing. Guys are, you guys are dope. I kind of see it more so like people just trying to find a way to bring awareness to their brand. Yeah. And unfortunately, well, in anything, controversy sells. Like yeah. most movies isn't successful unless it has some type of conflict in mm -hmm. the movie that overcomes. You know what I'm saying? Like people like a conflict. Yeah. And then we like the triumph story after the conflict. So... When I look at True Talk do what he do, when I watch Rainwater do what he does, or um, Tune do what he does, or Dallas Global do what they do, I, I don't take no personal merit to it. But it's dope. But sometimes it's the theatrical can move from being theater to something more realistic because yeah, there's absolutely. a thin line in between the two, and it just takes one person really saying something that got on somebody's nerve the wrong way, mm. and then it's taken to the extreme. We've seen that even in hip hop, but we, I mean, blogging. But no, but it's it, it's still words. You know, people always say words don't hurt you, but, but they in do. fact, they do. They do. So, you know, it, it can happen. It can happen. But the thing I like about it is we do got some sparring going on and we got some yeah. things that are drawing attention to those guys so much so that they're getting cocky. They say, man, we, we drawing more attention than the rappers. I'm, I'm hearing <laughs> this stuff, bro. That's real. I'm being real. Like, they really own it like that. Like, yeah, it's about us now. We getting the numbers. And, 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 you know, hey man, you you I, I hear them, but at the end of the day, it's a lot of talent, period, pretty much in our culture, and I like it. Cause I mean, you take you look at Tune, you look at Terry, man, he's a young black man, no kids. YouTube making a bank bankroll every month. People know who they are everywhere they go. It takes a, a even the most humble man can become drunk off power if he's not careful. And sometimes, you know, you watch these young guys kind of navigate their way and you hope that they find their way and they find a balance.
because too humble, you get boring and, and get forgotten about. Too over the top, put yourself in danger and you lose everything. So it's hopefully they can find a way. But I, I don't. I think those guys mature enough to know that they got a lot going on and they're not willing to lose everything. But oh, it takes having. Moment. But it takes having a good team around you, not That's necessarily true. the people who work with you. But example, like you're good friends with. But that is. It's good to, when you see something happen, hopefully it's not something that is too out of there mm -hmm. where you can't pull it back. You can pick up the phone and say, hey, don't react to this or don't, do, you know, and they listen because they respect you. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's, I've seen like Mr. Lee, he was on here yesterday and he was talking about certain instances where people didn't have that person around them that they can say, hey, don't do this or do this or don't do that and know that they can listen to them. Yeah. It's always these yes people that are saying, yeah, 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 you know, do, go ahead. But they're thinking one thing, but they're saying something else just for the clout. Yeah, yeah. And it's true because people don't want to get that. Yes, people don't want to lose their position. They see this person going up and up. You mess around and tell something that they don't want to hear. And now you kicked off the tour bus. You exactly. kicked away from the show. So some people, you're right. Um, but what we're seeing now is no different than what we saw in the 90s. I mean, imagine yeah. if Tupac had Instagram. Wow. <laughs> you know what I'm saying it'd be off the chain you know what I'm saying like imagine the whole East Coast West Coast beef if Twitter and and how bad that already went on its own what it would be like with social media so to ramp it up I give like I said again I give these kids kudos on who able to navigate this 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 space because it is tough with all eyes on you you can get embarrassed in front of the world and that's tough do you yeah. think those rappers would have been able to convert to this new society of everything well, on the internet at, because there's so many artists who couldn't Hmm. I don't know. I, I feel like Tupac would have crashed out. I don't think so. He, he, he was already anytime a man. camera came out, anyway. Then, which was the only media, he social was media. He pulling them out back then. He was spazzing out. I, I don't. I feel like <laughs> Tupac would have been beefing with a lot more people. I get it, but he still would have been up on technology and stuff because oh, no, he was yeah, doing for sure, it then. For sure, for sure. You know, but I got this list that Trill Talk done, and you was on that list. Okay. Um, how did you feel about that list? Did you feel it was even accurate or close? Uh, that was the um, the, was the, the, the blogger list. Yeah. yeah, I mean it was cool. It was a cool list. Um, it, I think it was pretty much accurate. It was a, it was a good list. I think who he had number one. He had uh, say cheese. Say cheese. I mean that's all that matters. Every, everybody <laughs> else falling. Who number two? Uh, Dallas Global. And three was two. Three was uh yeah tune yeah I mean it's, and real life street stars was the name shout out to real life street stars I feel like I don't know why people we don't put them like two yeah mm -hmm. um when reading all the comments and I didn't go through and read all of them but there was this one person let me that there was this one person that they kept he saying, didn't like it he was they kept pissed. saying no he was cool with it he, when he responded he was cool with it but then all the the other people were saying that he shouldn't have been put all the way to the bottom of the list. He should have mm. been further up. I don't know who that was. And I think they were talking about, I think it was TCT TV. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's that's the one they said should have been higher up. Okay. Would you ever do a list like that? Uh, no, I think I want to stay with the gatekeeper list. Okay. Um, I don't really want to do the blogger list. I don't want to do the artist list. I feel like I'm not even in tune to do the yeah, artist me list. Me neither. That's what I'm not fit to do none of that. I well, like I like when other people do those lists because yeah. they always introduce me to people I didn't know. Like yeah, I got I introduced to TCT after the fact. You know what I'm saying? After that list dropped. So uh, I think the list is a good thing because it highlights a lot of people that you may not know existed. Yeah, and for him to go out and seek out and understand who all these people are like that, yeah, that's dope. I mean, and when you do it, it's dope. Yeah. Like, like, man, you guys are killing it when it comes down to making these lists and making people, keeping them aware of what's going on as uh, far as you concerned yeah. with what, what you think about the market, you know? Um, Maybe if we did a list together. No, we're not doing a list. <laughs> We'd be like, who got the best no, quality we're list? No, we're not doing a list. That's it's what the best I'm telling you. We're going to do a list, all right, but it's going to be a list of people looking at the, uh, how we working. You know what I mean? That's our list. Who got the who the three that got the best quality in the I city with a kind of interview? I, 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 you know, I don't know, but I just know that we're going to go in. Who the top two? I don't know. Okay. I mean, I, I, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't see nobody flexing like me. Oh, <laughs> get, so, I get it off. I don't, you name one. Not Nobody does what we do. Uh, oh, so, man, I get mean, it off. But at the end of the day, I got a, a little bit of a edge over them because I'm experienced. Man, I'm an older cat. You yeah. know, so, I mean, you got all these young kids. It's a young man game. So, mm -hmm. I respect 
everybody that's doing this. I ain't coming here just like I'm gonna check this and check. No, I love all these guys, and and if I could get them in the same room, we gonna show them love. And everybody have their you know own that, right? clientele because of the way in which everybody it have their unique way of interviewing. No, absolutely. See, not everybody who watch like me like the or way. Somebody might like a different way. That's true. So I love your so. way, and I, I I love the way you. I think you you ask a lot of good questions. I'm saying, hey man, I appreciate like, it. I, I, when I hear you doing what you do, I've watched interviews now on people that try to do what you're doing, and he, he, I mean, I don't know, you know, say cheese does his thing, but you got your whole thing going into your own way, and I like it. I'm so, telling you, hey, I think we. That's why it's great that we got so many platforms. Some people try to say, hey man, the interview thing is getting oversaturated. I said it's not enough. No, you're right. Because sure, we may ask similar questions, but the styles will never be exactly never. the same. And the more platforms we could create, the more that more avenues that black businesses and young black entrepreneurs have to come express themselves and be heard. So I, I encourage anybody out there, man, that you got an idea, especially when it comes to media, do it. You, you know what I'm saying? What do you you see, what people what? look at, sorry, baby. It's what people look at is not really mainly the interviewer. They're looking at, okay, say example, say, say Cheese got interviewed by every single platform. They're like, Another say cheese interview, you know, because mm. they feel For like sure. you can only say the same thing over and over again. Gotcha. But what people don't realize is that you're going to ask a certain certain amount of questions, and we might touch on some of those, but then we'll touch on some other things and bring up things where because we've had people come on here and be like, I thought it was going to be about music. <laughs> <laughs> we hit the hard, you know. But you want to touch on everything, yeah. And I'm sure there's somebody else who interview that will ask questions that none of us even yeah. ever thought about yeah. asking. That's right. But being a consumer watching it, they're like, it's the same person again. Yeah. It's the same person again. So they're not going to sit down. Not just and spend, some of them, though. Some of them yeah. not going to sit down and spend that time to figure out that it's really different questions. No, mm -hmm. absolutely. Um, that that's true. That's true, because I, I kind of see that with Charleston White. I will watch Charleston White interviews on certain platforms yeah. versus others. Yeah. Um, but, again, that's me being a fan of, of the person who asked the questions, usually, yeah. if I'm going to stop and watch that, that yeah. interview yeah. Yeah. or not. So, well, Half Pint had something to say about, about being on that gatekeeper list. Oh, yeah? He was what like... Man, I don't care about those lists, man. <laughs> I don't even care. He cares. You think you care? It's easy I'm not to care when you're on the list. <laughs> Shout out to my boy Half Pipe. Uh, when, so yeah, you think he yeah. cares? Yeah, I mean, it's easy to say, man, I don't care about this list when you're on, you on the list. But when you weren't on the list, then he's going to have even more. Especially if it's somebody on the list that you felt like, man, hell no, they ain't even on my level and they on there and I'm not. Oh, man, that's crazy. But I know he was like, you don't even care. I asked him, what is that gatekeeper list? He said, I don't know. I don't even care. You know what it is. That's the second time being on there. <laughs> you know, you know exactly what, it what it is. Don't so, do that to me, half pint man. I need all my clout, man. <laughs> so the, the the apparel that you're doing for, uh, uh, for and you supposed to been bringing some, but you didn't. Yeah, but, I'm uh, working on it. Make sure you bring it next time, or either bring it over. I want to, you know, I'm gonna bring it in the store once we get it everything yeah. going. I'd love to have that in here. Mm -hmm. You know, I love supporting. You know, so I appreciate I buy that. It. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna buy that because I want it in here for our people to see. And it, and, and this Dallas man, and this where you pretty much came up with your gatekeeper list. Man, yeah, absolutely. So what what it is. It's, it's called gatekeeping. So it's really, I wanted to bring something that's a little bit more premium, something that's a little bit more um, mature. So, you know what I'm saying? It's like your above the knee polo type shorts, but you know what I'm saying? With the, the key in the lock pattern, you know what I'm saying? Interchangeably over the, over the shorts. And I'm playing around with it. I got a pair of shorts that was embroidered mm -hmm. with each logo. Mm -hmm. And I got some that's um, sublimated. Mm -hmm. Trying to see which way I wanted to go, but I wanted something that was just like casual. It's like, you know what I'm saying? And then my mogul, just like my standard mogul gear, I mean, that gave you more the urban, the sweats, and the t-shirts. But that gatekeeper, I wanted something that's simple. Kind of like how this Lacoste shirt is. Yeah. It's just, you know, so it's light. you're just light. doing the logo and not doing the work. He's like, yeah, he's just like, the logo. He's like the premium brand yeah, look on this there one. There you go. Premium, yeah. yeah, premium. No, yeah, and the other one it wasn't premium. It, yeah. it was more of street. Yeah, right. more yeah we urban. gonna get him there. We trying. To, I'm trying to take you to the show with uh, us. I'm a, we going to Vegas. Y'all gonna go? I'm gonna go. You and talk to I'm your a, wife. I'm gonna talk to her. Okay, but if she don't go, I'm gonna go. You gonna still yeah, go? I'm gonna go? Well, I'm gonna sign you up. Yeah, man. Okay, give me the information. I'm, no, I'm no, trying no, to figure this thing out. Up. You know, I'm gonna get you in there with us, and we are gonna get in there, and you can take a look for two or three days. If you decide to stay three, I probably used to stay two and leave on the. Yeah, I need to. I was just out there a couple of days ago, and I think I was out there four. 
before, and I was like, oh, this is a bad, yeah, just, just bad too. Is decision. It, yeah, is it? Um, is it got start? Has it started getting busy out there? Because I know yes. that during the pandemic, it, it wasn't that many people going. Well, it was packed. Um, so when I, the weekend I went out there two weeks ago, um, Dreas opened up for the first time. Hey, so that was their first shout night. Um, <laughs> you know, it, it was jumping. Oh, All man. the way lit, you know what I'm saying? They oh. wasn't enforcing no no oh. masks, no nothing. nothing. It was it was lit. It's mm. turned up again. Um, so where where do you where do you see uh, mogul media in, in the next um, say two years? Man, you know I, I I'm really trying to turn mogul media into a network. Okay. So not only do I want, you know, my interview platform on there, but I wanna bring other creators on to my platform. So different shows. Okay. So you won't just get my interviews. I'm working with somebody right now. Shout out to Sweet June Media. <laughs> Me and her talking on working on something. So you know what I'm saying? It's like I'm trying to do a couple of different shows on that platform. So it'd be like the Mogul Network. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Instead of just oh, I mean Mogul Media, but Mogul Network, whatever. Yeah. Instead of just Mogul State of Mind interviews. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to uh Famous TV. We'll be on there. Um, we're on actually on CW Network. Okay. Um, we'll be on there on July the second at 12, 12 o'clock. Yeah. So we working, man. Hey, you know man. what I'm saying? We just working a little bit. Man, mogul moves. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> we trying to figure it out. Like I always say, man. We just we just thank God that uh, we was able to uh, come to this place, man, where we would be able to step on the stage and be able to deal with guys like you guys, man. No, for sure. Yeah. I, I think again, man. F- my f- my flowers go out to you guys, man. Y'all came in this thing and y'all ain't playing. Y'all bored dozing it over. Yeah, we we working. I don't think nobody's putting out like every day like we do the whole like we dropping the whole thing every day. Yeah, you doing your thing. Yeah, except for on the weekends we give them a break. You know, I could if I if I if I had you know what when I bring my wife, I'm gonna be on y'all ass. <laughs> 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 I believe you will too, cause that's it. Take that, man. It. It helps, man, when you got somebody that's like my wife. She does all the, a lot of different stuff. It's a lot of different moving parts. People to don't this. realize how many moving parts there are. It is. It's yeah, a, a lot, lot bro. Because I refuse to do write ups. Yeah, you know, how, like yeah. people do like the whole write up explaining that. I just like that. I don't, I don't want to do, do that. It. I barely even want to do the title. Well, the <laughs> only reason I do it is because we got we got to make sure it's right because it's going from YouTube to. Podcast, got gotcha. you. I mean, for Spotify, uh, Spotify and Apple, that. and Google Podcasting. So all that have to be right when a person goes on those platforms. Have y'all jumped to Patreon yet? I'm been looking at that. Patreon. You on Patreon? I think so. Yeah, we are. I, I need to take advantage of that. I haven't gotten no Patreon yet, and I thought about possibly taking my interviews and turning it audio only too. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You need to do it. It's but simple. I, I got a f- no. I, I know. I mean, I, you've I, done it before. Yeah, I got a Spotify Why? for Mo- Mogul uh, Mogul Why Moves Only. That was my podcast. Yeah. Um, Why were you thinking to take it only that way? Not only that way. I'm saying at, adding that. Adding, it, adding yeah. that. Um, but I just got to find a way to monetize it, and that's my thing. At the time that I was doing <laughs> it, I wasn't making no money. I'm like, I I'm just think, dropping. I think I think it's gonna come. I think right. Like I think what you should have done is kept doing it. And I think you would have seen the drive and the downloads just keep increasing. Yeah, but it's like it's you always, downloading. Maybe if I would have put a feeder down, because like, I don't know, man. Like, well, it's simple ways to do it because she project these things before, like months and months. It just goes once you load it one time. She schedule everything to drop. Yeah, because like I was looking at my numbers. My numbers on Spotify was doing all right. Doing all right. It was going good. Apple Music was doing yeah, cool. Yeah, but he's just talking about money, money. monetizing yeah. it. I know exactly what he's talking about. Like I'm gonna give y'all this this platform, this free content. They continue to make money. They're off making the content, money, and all they I'm don't getting is share just the wealth. bragging rights to say, yeah, I got a podcast. Exactly. Listen to it. But I think I think like I said, I think as you go. I think it grows. Um, I talked with uh, uh, Jock Taylor, and he was talking about the fact of how they're gaining momentum is because of sponsorship. sponsorship. Yeah, that's why and and and, and that's where they're they're that's where they're winning. And I think that's something we're we're going to start, but we just wanted to get everything built up first. So I'll go out and I'll have I got a guy already gotcha. that's going to do do that marketing campaign to go out and tell people, hey, we'll sponsor you as the numbers grow, which you already have that capability. No, for sure. And, and y'all, I mean, y'all y'all got so much room for product oh, placement. Oh yeah, we chilling right y'all now. Y'all got so many places where that's people right. can sit some stuff can, with oh, all man, these cameras. I can kill it. I man. can kill it. And especially with her, she's dope when it come down to just organizing things to where people it appeal to the masses, right? No, for sure. Um, so do you think that um do you think that 
Do you think that mogul media is is, is something that um, you 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 want to take? You say you want to take it to a network, TV, and all that, or no? No, I actually want to create my own, your own server. So like my own network, as far as not TV, I, I think Just TV because TV is playing. It's, it's, it's a dinosaur. It's, that's right. So what about your own server and harnessing your own uh, 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 your own media, your, your your data, so that nobody can ever take it down, and maybe you can drive people to it. That, that, that is the case. I get what you're saying because at the end of the day, no matter how much we want to say we are own bosses. You're working with somebody. You got a Instagram, YouTube, Facebook can all say. I'm done. I'm done and boom. Tomorrow, yeah. yo, you're gone and you yeah. at their mercy. That's right. You know what I'm saying? That's why I be kind of, you know, I be worried about Sean. Like he got great content with um, Charleston. Yeah. But I'm scared like wow. you can wake up tomorrow and your 800,000 subscribers. It's gone, it's gone because y'all talking some real things, but it may be just a little too against the the, the community rules that causes you know something great to be gone and you got to start over. Wow! And so that's the thing that I worry about. So I'm always open ear to possibly doing that. But if Donald Trump hadn't been able, I know he tried to do it, but if he hadn't been able to do it with all his resources yet, that may be tougher than what we think. Because again, as the server side, the server side, because like my whole thing is like. You can put your own platform up, right? The mm -hmm. server side. And you can talk however you want. No threat, nobody taking it down. But it also has to be hosted by, like, let's say if you want to have an app. Right. If the app store is Apple, um, the Play Store or the um, Apple App Store don't want to carry it. Somebody owns something. They can block that's it. Above you. And then that's because mm -hmm. that's what happened to, what was the other one that uh, all the Trump supporters start going to mm -hmm. after they got the... Got, I can't remember. Par? Yeah. yeah. That's what happened to them. They start... They got um, blocked off of all the little mm -hmm. stores, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, the app stores. So it's 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 a tough grind. I, we just got to forecast where everything is going. What's the next big wave? We got to create it. That's what I'm saying. But so that's what I'm trying to see. I know like AI, artificial intelligence yeah, yeah, is on yeah, the yeah. rise. So I'm trying to figure <laughs> out where these robots at. So yeah, yeah, yeah. You can find someone in each category that you need. So you need to find another business owner who can do the apps. Yeah. You know, somebody yeah. who can team up with you. You can deal with this section. So you actually create your own network with these people who are, you know, professionals in their own category. No, absolutely. Well, you I know, them, them Apple stores, them expensive. I think it's like $150, $160 a oh, month to host that app. Your app on there each month. Man, I, I thought, I remember that idea I came up with a while back, mm -hmm. about three years ago, mm -hmm. and I was thinking about doing it. Mm -hmm. And and it's like, you like, if I'd have done it, where do you think it would have been? It would be now. You know what I mean? Like, I have some deep, uh, some thoughts about doing things to educate people and come up with ways to capitalize on understanding that market. For that, sure. That's what I was trying to do, as far as the apps and as far as how do you you know play the game to understand when all of them are being developed and who the developers are. Absolutely. That's how you win. You got to go to them and understand what's going on with them in order to you you know in order to understand the whole way that they're developing them and how fast they're coming out. You hey hey, knowledge is power, you know. No, so for you, sure. you got to figure it out like that. You got to go to who's doing it and the way to get in those doors is support them like we're doing uh, on these platforms for YouTube and all that other stuff. Yeah. We start to learn about it. Cuz everything is such is so Apple and Android. Yep, that's it. Is it possible? Well, I know it's possible. Oh, it's very but, possible. But how expensive it is to create another? You'd be amazed at. But you got Apple, well, Apple and Google. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah. And Samsung was able to create something yeah. to be in that algorithm as well. I, I think the, the creation Google. part may not be the hard. Well, it. Yeah, creating it may be tough. It's like, where do you host it? Because you they create. create from scratch, I'm talking. Scratch. You create everything from scratch, so you would be like an Apple. Yeah. But you'd be a pair. Yeah. <laughs> and you come up. <laughs> Could call it pair, right? Call it pair. That would be funny. <laughs> yeah, that's real. <laughs> it, yeah. It'll like, go. hey, you an apple, I'm a pair. <laughs> Uh, no, I, or maybe it may not be as hard as we think we it think is. It right. is. That's what I'm thinking. That, yeah. but the only because way because they did it, so why can't somebody else? Yeah. I think it's just indulging in 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 that realm and and injecting yourself into understanding what's going on with what we have yeah. already. And I think that's where you find the answer somewhere in that whole situation. But you got to be very indulged. You got to put up money, just like we're doing yeah. with these platforms. You got to if you want to know about it. You have, people respect money. Yep. People respect putting up money as, and when you put up money to educate yourself with what they're doing and how they're doing it, by 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 really 
promoting a lot of the stuff that they're dealing with. I'm yep. telling you, then you can begin to understand that algorithm. But also, even if you understood everything, the thing that just came to my mind is if I'm a multi-million dollar company like Apple and billion, I get billion. billion dollars, sorry, and I get wind of a company that might be coming up, I'm going to smash it. No, no, you're not. Not if you do it right. Not if you do it like I was talking about doing it. Mm. You know what but I mean? But you understand what well, I mean? No, because I, I you, have, saying, you, you have those companies who... They're not going to smash. Because like Facebook do it all the time. Like when Snapchat came, that's how inst first Instagram came. Facebook bought yeah, Instagram. They tried to buy Snapchat. Snapchat said say no, but now that's how we got stories on Instagram. They took Snapchat thing, and then Snapchat had the filters. And so then and Facebook... They, they bought WhatsApp, too. Oh, yeah. Yep. They own WhatsApp. So... So far, Snapchat mm -hmm. stood was stood to understand the time, but, but like it's not, it's not popping as it right. was. They're, they're not tricky marketing buying like they stuff are. because like, they keep having all these other avenues that they're but buying. But look at TikTok; it steps in and it starts knocking people but, down. But then Instagram creates reels, which is their version of, of the TikTok. TikTok to try to kick because they was banking on. Do you remember TikTok was almost about to get out of there? Ban in the U.S. Yeah, yeah so Instagram came out with that reels, and it, it could still happen like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. that's what reels came from. Are it's you on the, all these platforms? I'm not on TikTok. You need to be. And I'm on Twitter, but I'm not active on Twitter. Me, I got about I what 800, Twitter. 900 people that I deal yeah, with on man. Twitter. I, I hate Twitter. I, I got can't. Twitter. It's I got too much stuff. I have, stuff. It. I have on it, but I don't ever use it. I got it. a lot of stuff. Oh, uh, on TikTok, you be getting man. I just don't have enough time gotta, in a you, day. You, you, you just, I don't, you, I don't even be up that great, and they still sitting there waiting. There's so many platforms that you have to remember because there is an audience on all these platforms, yeah. and you have to remember. To post because remember, if you are on well, on Snapchat, some people who are on Snapchat because I hit up people on Snapchat and tell them follow me on Instagram, and a whole bunch of them tell me I'm not on Instagram. Mm. So you have to be posting Snapchat posts, Instagram posts, TikTok posts, wherever and everywhere to just to try to make sure that you are being known. Leaving no rock unturned. Exactly. Man, Dallas. Hey, hey, I'm gonna be honest with you. Dallas is looking for. People like us to make it to understand. We like the new news, right? Yeah, we we give people information, but also we give people healing. And uh, man, shout out to us, man. Hey, you know? man, shout out to y'all. No, to all of us. Took you all too. these cameras. I You're got about twenty nine cameras. Media, in man. Here. Mogul you can media do it is too. Man. All, all y'all missing is the playing. weather. Say, man. Yeah. Say, man. It's sunny outside. <laughs> hey, check go. it, man. Let me check it, man. Let me check it one time, man. Hey, thank you for coming on the show, man. Hey, man. I appreciate y'all having Say, me. Say, man. Anytime. Like we love it when you pull up. To be honest with you, man. You oh. dope. Next time I'm gonna pull up and I'm gonna have my yeah, own yeah, makeshift yeah, award. Yeah, it's gonna be out of cardboard box. You're not gonna do. Come on, y'all gonna take a picture up there. It's gonna be hair red. This guy. Something I'm else. gonna get my clout. <laughs> Say, I think, I think, like I said, before the year is over, we're trying to plan something to where I can bring everybody together. That'd the be people that have been on the platform. Um, um, it may be, I ain't no telling what it's gonna be. I, we're still deciding on it, but I'm putting up money to bring everybody on as guests, and you guys are definitely gonna have a good time. Hey, man, let's hey, do if y'all come, and it's gonna be formal or no? I want to formal because I want to. She want to dress, dress up. She dress up. I'm like, nah, we want to hang see, out. Every woman wants. A reason to really dress up. Hey, I'm a mogul, so I'm trying to dress up too. See, see. Okay, okay. You know well, that's saying? cool. Well, I mean, no, you, you know what? Actually, let everybody else think is urban, so then I can dress up and then stand out even <laughs> more. The bar. Like, you know what I'm saying? He like, set the no, bar. No. Does he own the place? Hey. Hey. <laughs> I love it, man. Because if everybody, if if it's an evening attire and everybody has dress up, then you have to go even higher yeah. to say, you know what? I, I got to make sure I stand up. Even more yep. than everybody else, so it, it makes your game go. Hey, yeah, do. I just thank you for coming on, and I thank you, man. You working up on that award, man. That's all I can say, man. Boy, you working. I mean, you come back through. You talk trash to us about the award, <laughs> and we love so hard. We just giving awards because we love, and we say, man, you know that guy's accomplished. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, no so, no doubt. That, that's the whole game, man. So you and doing we be your having thing. beef about that. That's like how you she be her, trying I to shut like, me down. I be like, nah, baby, just wait. I be Let's buying a bunch it. because I want to award not just for the music but i want to see you doing a lot more than just the music got you give back you know who have you been helping with what you've been doing but my I question mean, is this though stuff. if people are showing that they're giving isn't that kind of like distasteful though exactly like because it's kind of like almost like you seeing this person feed the hungry you seeing this person do everything and they put it in front of the camera don't it kind of look like okay you're not really doing this to help you're really just doing this so people can say Oh, look how much they help me. Man. Yes and no. But when I say that, 
today's society, everybody have a phone. Everybody True. loves to be posting everything. True. So say say cheese, and everybody know who say cheese is. Mm -hmm. He goes down here to the homeless shelter and you know serve food or whatever. Somebody's gonna see him down there and be like. Yeah, that's, that's, that look a lot better. You see what I mean? That look a lot better and than him putting him, out his own phone. And once they post him and have a good caption, somebody's going to share it and be like, hey, say cheese is down here, da da da, yeah. da. It's going to get out. Yeah, okay. but maybe people moving like Jesus. You know, Jesus healed people and was like, don't tell nobody. If yeah. you do, if it, But they yeah. see a toe. Yeah, they did. <laughs> they, they did. They didn't even <laughs> listen to God. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so... Because if you're doing great things, people are going to want to talk about it. Even if they come over here and say, such and such happened, but don't tell nobody. It's okay. I'm going to go tell this person. I said, don't tell nobody. Yeah. It's going to keep going yeah. around. Yeah. So I'm, it's going to get out. Got you. I definitely um, want to thank you for helping uh, give me insight on different things, man, again. And um, I want you to keep going. And if you need me, you know I'm there. So oh, yeah. we love you, bro. Hey, and, love y'all too. And, and every time you come... You always drop jewels. I know that. I'm going to get you offline and ask a couple more questions about some things that you're doing behind the scene. And I just appreciate you, bro. Hey, man, I appreciate y'all. Say, man, it's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101. Peace. Here we out.